Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we'll be doing this, you know, body in this layered look. Y'all see the layers right here, right? Period. So if you're new here, subscribe, duh. And if you're a part of the gang already, you know, gang already in this shit. Today's video is gonna be on how to get this layered look. I hope y'all like it, cause, uh, this is my first time ever trying to do layers. I never did layers before. So this is something new. But I really like the outcome. I didn't do too much. I didn't clip off too much. But as y'all could see, I did what needed to be done. Stay tuned to the video. And I also did an install. I also did like a little quick ghoulish install because I'm about to go to work. So um yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this look, the color, everything. I'm gonna tell y'all more about this wig when we get into the video. So again, if you're new here, subscribe. Stop what you're doing right now, pause the video, and go click subscribe because that's what you should do. Stay tuned for this look and let's get right into the video, y'all, period. Hey y'all, so let's get straight into this video. So I'm doing a quick little, you know, quick little glueless install in the beginning. Do not mind my freaking hair. Like I threw these braids in my hair so quick because for one, I can't braid my hair myself. And for two, I couldn't find nobody to braid my hair. But anyway, I'm gonna use the Style Factor Edge Booster Edge Control. This one is specifically for thick and coarse hair, which is what I have. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna apply that to my hairline to slick my edges back so they're just like not in the way when I go to put my wig on. my concealer I use the pro concealer I think it's in the shade um toffee I believe I believe I use the shade toffee and I'm gonna apply that to my wig cap and again we're not doing the ball cap method I don't know if I mentioned that already but we're not doing that cuz you know so I'm gonna apply that same concealer that I applied to my cap to my wig to the lace in the front and yeah we about to put this thing on baby put this thing on y'all now if you really seeing what i'm seeing here you seeing that this lace is tore up tore back and twisted y'all i had this wig for about three years now so the lace is really on its last leg but we're gonna really make it work so the front is kind of really balded and all chopped and screwed and cut up but don't pay that no mind because in the end you know your girl's gonna slay i did this color about like two three years ago so I was trying to get the balayage look or whatever that is called where you get like the blonde strips in the front and then it's like ombre in the back but yeah that was like my first time coloring hair this was like three years ago but if you guys want an updated video on that I can definitely do it for you just let me know in the comment section below also if you want a more updated glueless wig install i have one on my channel i believe it's from a couple months ago but if you want an updated glueless wig install i can definitely do that video for you guys too as well just let me know in the comments so what's left of this hairline i'm trying to make baby hairs out of that so yeah but i use the got to be glue instant i think i believe it's called insta hold or instant hold and i'm just going to spread that along my hairline to you know lay that lace down i don't really know if it's better than the free spray but it smells better and i like the bottle better because you know it's pink and blue but that's besides the point I believe I got that elastic band from Walmart. It was in like the craft section. It wasn't even bad. I believe it was like a yard of elastic band for like a dollar and some change. You cannot beat that. 
but now i'm gonna go in after my um lace is tied down i'm gonna go in and blow dry it you can use a warm setting or cool setting i use both i start off with a warm setting and then i go to cool but yeah now it's time to really get into it you feel me i'm gonna go in with my um my wax stick and i'm gonna press that across the top to just keep the flyaways and really like sweep the hair down I lied to you not that Erica J fluff stuff mousse is the best mousse to use when you're styling your edges or your baby hairs on your frontal I'm telling you like she I don't even know what the formula is for this mousse but I don't even know how to explain it but this is the best mousse I have ever used I used to use Nairobi foaming mousse but I believe that's a water base so that like lifts your lace up but this mousse right here i'm telling you y'all it even like dries quick so it's easier to mold your um baby hair it's like this is the best mousse ever y'all need to go get it and tell you tell erica that your girl lena stallion sent you period Alright, so now before you get to cut, trying to cut the layers, you want to make sure that your hair is straight and all is styled the way you want to style it before you get to cutting it. Because remember what I said in the last video when I made the bang video, you want to measure 10 times and cut once because once you cut, you cannot go back. So y'all just make sure, don't even mind me trying to fix my edges because yeah, but just make sure all your hair is straight and aligned the way you want it before you start cutting now when i started cutting my layers i really measured based off like the bottom of my chin and how i wanted it to frame my face i didn't want it too short because that's kind of awkward because the hair be long and then people be cutting it so short so i started at the bottom of my chin and then i just worked my way down and you hold the scissors at like an angle and you just glide them down you don't you you do close it close the scissors a little bit but do not close them all the way where you're chopping your hair off like in that clip you could see me opening and closing the scissors but not completely it's just a little bit you just like really glide the scissors down the hair but do not close the scissors all the way to where you're chopping off pieces of your hair if that makes sense I definitely did slow down this part of the video so that you guys can see how tedious and how I'm trying to take my time and really frame the layers to my face. At this point, it's really up to you and how you want your layers to frame your face and how short you want them. If you want to layer the whole thing, go all the way down here. I think eventually I, I actually do start layering the entire like wig kind of not entire wig but i do go down further rather than just those short pieces right there so now i'm going to my flat iron and i'm just bumping it to see how i like it if i need to cut more or if it if it's flowing how i want it to flow and y'all i bodied that right side i did mm -hmm.
so like i said it's completely up to you to keep you know shaping the layers the way you want and framing your face but that is all for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this style the look the color i did a while ago so that's just like it's old news but if you guys love this book just as much as i did let me know and comment below i love you guys and see you in the next video peace